<laughs> hey guys, it's Adam EK Swimming Bird, and welcome to Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. Today is Toy Day, and of course, we are dressed up like the jolly fat man himself, the one and only Mario. So we're gonna travel around town and deliver gifts to all the good little critters out there. I wanted to show you guys, I've been collecting a bunch of holiday items and jingle furniture, but I've also been collecting something else over December, information on what my villagers want for their presents. I've been making a Word document and checking it twice. I know who's naughty and nice, and if they've been nice, they're gonna get something good. If they've been naughty, I'm just gonna gift wrap a sea bass or something, they'll have to deal with that. So we are on the hunt for a friendly reindeer with a twinkle in his eye and Santa's clothing. Jingle, he should be around here somewhere. And we need to collect all the Jingle stuff if we are gonna actually help out. So you can buy this over the course of December. If you don't have it by this final day, the 24th of December by 6 p.m., then you can always head to the Mabel Sisters and buy the hat. They should have all the items there. And then Kix has the boots. That's the last thing you need. You need the hat, jacket, pants, boots, and beard. I do have the beard, even though I'm not wearing it. I wanted to find Jingle first. And, oh, here he is, hiding behind the police station. That's not creepy at all. And I once I, you know, talk to him and he asks if we could maybe help him out, then I'm going to put the beard on. So let's see what Jingle has to say. Happy holidays! Ho, ho, ho! I stole Santa's clothes and hid him in a ho, ho, ho! You'll never find him! I'm Jingle! The black-nosed reindeer. Isn't this the best time of the year, kid? Snow everywhere, fuzzy hats, and steaming mugs of hot cocoa with mushrooms by the fireplace. Wait, did I say mushrooms? I meant marshmallows. Mushrooms and hot cocoa would kind of ruin the mood. I'm here in town to do something very important, but it's a secret. I'm gonna sneak into everyone's houses and leave them presents. Don't tell anyone. Um, I know, it's kind of weird if you think about it, but it's all about the presents, so in the end, everyone is happy. Sometimes I wish I had a good way to mix things up for people, though. If I found someone willing to dress like Santa, I could ask that person to deliver the presents. People like me, but they really love Santa. What a treat it'd be. Hmm, I wonder if this guy with the Santa hat can help me out. So there we go, I'm gonna put the beard on. You can't use the royal beard, it has to be the official Santa beard. Is this a, okay, I wanna make sure that Jingle's like, <laughs> I fell into a pitfall, oh, 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 I broke my leg. No, he's okay. Ho? Oh? Hey, you, what's up? You look exactly like Santa. That's fantastic. If people started getting presents from someone like you, I bet that would make them really happy. Hey, I've got an idea. Instead of me, the usual holiday gift giver, why don't you deliver the presents to everyone tonight, kid? Leave it to me, Jingle. You will? That's great! Thank you so much! There we go. That Santa bag is a magical sack filled up with presents for everyone here in town. But at dawn, the magic will break, and the bag will return to normal. So please be very careful. The presents the town's residents requested are inside that bag. Just think twice when you give out a present, kid. That way everyone's wishes will be able to come true. I'll be waiting around town until dawn, so deliver all the presents and then return the bag to me to get credit for it. Okay, good luck. <laughs> so, now that we've got this magic sack of presents, we can go talk to the villagers. And I've been collecting information. You have to talk to them over the course of December, building up to Toy Day. It's weird that Toy Day's on the 24th. You'd think it would be Toy Day Eve. But anyways, you have to get this information, and there's two pieces that they'll give you if you talk to them. It seems like they only give out one a day, though. So they'll tell you a color of a present they want, as well as what the present actually is, like the type of item. And some of them, like Ganon, I only know he wants something yellow, which is kind of strange. It's like, I don't care what it is. It could be, you know, a banana or a submarine. I'm happy as long as it's yellow. It sounds really strange. Cranston here, let's talk to him. He wants a doll for all of his creepy cribs. Yay, it's Santa. I'm so pumped. I'm so excited. Uh... Happy Toy Day, or you could say, here's your present. So we've got a bunch of items in here. A mini circuit, which is a toy. We got a plum bonsai, kitty carpet, electric guitar, drum set, modern screen, plush carpet, a lucky gold cat, a mini lamp, and a jasmine bonsai. I'm trying to think of which one is the doll here, because the gold cat could be, so the toy is the mini circuit. I think the gold cat is probably the one that he wants, because I'm pretty sure that counts as a doll. So I have a big list of all the items, but that's not helping me too much here if I can't figure out exactly the one he wants. Yeah, I think it is the Lucky Gold Cat. So let's try this out. Here you go, buddy. I really hope this is what you wanted. 
And we do this, right? Yes! Do you mind if I open it right now? A lucky gold cat! I'm so happy! How did you know exactly what I was wishing for? There we go. Thanks a bunch, Santa. So the problem is, I have a couple villagers, like our newest resident, Inkwell, over here from Splatoon. He's an octopus, but he loves squids. He, I don't really know what he wants. He didn't tell me. Same with Coco and Ribot. So I'm going to go after the villagers that I know what they want. I just saw Coco over here, but she's watering the plants in the middle of a cold December night. Curly, I know he wants a toy, so I'm pretty sure he would be happy with that mini circuit. So let's talk to him. Huh? Santa, is it really you? Happy toy day. Here's your present, buddy. So yeah, I'm going to make sure we have a couple different types of plants, which is, ooh, that's going to be rough. And then uh, a couple different instruments and some carpets and everything, just making sure. Brofina wants the lamp. I know a couple of these. Kangy wants the electric guitar, and Wolf Link wants the modern screen. I hope that Curly is satisfied with this toy. The carpet's going to be a mix-up because I don't know who wants those. <laughs> Happy holiday hamstrings. It's a present. Holy holiday hamstrings, rather. I'm going to open it. A mini circuit. I'm so happy. Oh, I hope that's what he wanted. Thank you so much, Santa bro. Yeah, he said he wanted a toy, so I really hope that's what he needed. Oh, Graham over here. He wants something pink. Hmm, I wonder if the plum jasmine would be what he wanted. We could take a risk here. Let's talk to him. Oh, I've been waiting for such a long time, and Santa himself is here. Joy! Happy holidays, Santa. Nobody tell Graham. <laughs> Here's your present. So we've got, yeah, a plum bonsai. I don't think anything else is pink. Other than, yeah, the drum set, the car, yeah. It seems like the kitty carpet, I don't think that's going to count as pink. I think the plum bonsai has a pink color to it. Let's try that and see if Graham wants it. I really hope so. Nobody else asked for uh, any plants that I know of. Thank you, Santa. Can I open it right now? A plum bonsai! It's a miracle. It's unbelievable. I got exactly what I wanted. Okay, good. Oh, wow, Santa really exists. This will make people dream. I'd better tell everyone about it. Aww. He's so full of hope and dreams. Nobody ruin it for him now. So is Wolf Link home? Nope, he's not home. He's wandering around. We still need to see Wolf Link's house. And we will return to Inkwell. Maybe one of the last ones that we do in the episode. But we're going to see Inkwell's house as well. We're going to see it before Wolf Link's, weirdly enough. So let's travel to the other side of town here. Because I don't want to scare any more fish. But I also want to try to find the other villagers. Is Tangy at home? Mayhaps she is. Okay, you can tell by the fish shaped you know, smoke coming out of her, her chimney. I don't know if she's cooking fish, and that's why that happens. Okay, so Tangy, I know exactly what she wants, a red instrument. She was kind enough to share that with me. So let's talk to her. She's got her claw machine. Happy toy day, Santa. I almost said Adam. Here's your present, Tangy. And an electric guitar. That's awesome. I love that that's what she wants to learn. It's her resolution. Yippee! Brace yourself, Tangy. Here goes nothing. An electric guitar, exactly what I wanted. I am like totally freaking out right now. Thank you so much. Aw, you're the best, Santa. I promise to be a good cat all year, so you better come back. I love how all these little villagers have their own houses, but they're still really deep into the mythos of Santa. <laughs> but yeah, this this whole village, it's got that vibe of uh, a lot of kids just kind of running around and playing house and in their little clubhouses. So Graham, we already talked to. He's happy, Tangy's happy, Cranston's... I think most of them are happy so far. I've been lucky. I really don't know, though, with the uh, the carpets, because two people apparently want carpets. But I know exactly what you want. Come here, Wolf Link. I got your present for you. Oh, I've been waiting for such a long time, and Santa himself is here. Joy! Happy holiday, Santa. Here's your present, buddy. He wants a modern screen, which is a nice wallpaper. I know that because, yeah, he said a white wallpaper, so it's the modern screen. Thanks, Santa. I can't wait any longer. It's okay if I open it right away. Oh, wow, no way! A modern screen, exactly what I wanted. Ah, uh, keep up the good work. You mean more to us than you could possibly imagine. Well, so, uh, if you do deliver all these gifts, I think you get some festive or jingle items if you just, you know, do okay at delivering these. But if you get them all perfect, Jingle will send you his picture in the mail. Not the most complicated of events. It's got a lot to it, but not too many rewards. Kind of like the Harvest Festival. But I think they knew people wanted to spend time with their families rather than running around giving pig demons gifts. Hey, Santa. Oh, boy, it's Santa. I didn't expect you. Happy Toy Day. Even Ganon believes in Santa. Here's your present. So Ganon wanted something yellow. Now, what could it possibly be? A plush carpet, a drum. I think the drum set might be yellow. I don't know about the carpets, though. I wish I could lay these down and see. So it's definitely not the jasmine. The mini lamp is what Brofina wanted, because she said a lamp. 
The kitty carpet has a bunch of, you know, different colors. I'm pretty sure it's the drum set. I can picture the drum set being yellow, so let's try this. I really hope this is what Ganon wants, and he starts a band with Tangy. Thanks for the gift, Santa. Can I help it right now? Oh, a drum set! My wish came true! Hooray! Oh, there we go. Santa, you could just take it easy for the rest of the night, now that I'm taken care of. Well, <laughs> well that's kind of mean, so I'm going to leave these on for you. <laughs> I'll take good care of my present. Sorry, I was trying to... <laughs> I'm trying to... Yeah, geez, I'm trying to be naughty here, and he's... He's just being so nice. He's waving to me as his house just explodes in the background. Those are just the Zelda bombs that will permanently be, you know, fused there and not actually explode. But, uh, but I need to get some of those. I wish that's the one thing I need for my Zelda exhibit to complete it in the museum. So Ribot's home. Oh, I should have. Okay, so the only person that I've got a gift for that I know that I haven't delivered is... The one from, uh, I've got a centipede in case Ribot wants to eat that, is the lamp for Brofina. So, Ribot here, we're gonna have to guess, I guess. Whoa, the real Santa. Happy Toy Day, Santa. Ribot. Here's your present, Ribot. It's either a plush carpet, kitty carpet, jasmine bonsai, or, yeah, it's gotta be one of those. I wish we could, hmm. What? I wonder if we could say, uh, he probably won't give us any hints. Santa, you must be really strong to look around a huge sack of gifts. Happy Toy Day. So, uh, Santa, do I get a present? I swear, it was really good this year. Aw, <laughs> he's gonna cry. We're gonna have to take a shot in the dark here. So, Ribot, I'm guessing, I don't know what he would want. Yeah, I have no idea for him, Coco, and Inkwell. So this is gonna be, uh, two of them want carpets, one of them wants a bonsai. I wonder if... Feels, yeah, it's probably completely random, because I don't know, you know, I wouldn't picture Tangy playing the electric guitar. I'm just going to have to guess. Ribot, did you want a Jasmine Bonsai? I really hope so. Probably not. Holy holiday hamstrings, a Jasmine Bonsai. I didn't think I was going to get what I wanted, but I did. Oh, man, I got really lucky. Ah, oh, so we have a 50-50 shot at this. Thank you so much, Santa Bro. All right, bye, Ribot. Your voice is hard to do. <laughs> it's hard to pinpoint because his voice used to be different, but I've tried to make it more like I am Ribot. There we go. Okay. So, man, I really did get lucky there. So this isn't one of those things like a lot of the holidays where you can look up the answers. This is like I have a list of all the possible combinations, but without knowing what type of, you know, color of gift and type of gift they want, this is going to be very tough. So let's go talk to Brofina here and give her her lamp. Hers is very easy because she's the only one that wanted a lamp. But I don't know otherwise. Inkwell and Coco, it's really a mix-up. Man, Brofina, you need to get your house together here. She put her, ah, the most valuable poultry shirt. She put it on display. She's not going to wear it, but at least she has it. And look at all, yeah, her house is a very hot, weird hodgepodge. She's got a water trough. <laughs> Man, I got to help her out. Bah, oh, Santa, happy toy day. Here's your present, Brofina. Bah. It's a mini lamp, just what you wanted probably go better than most of the stuff in here. Bar, can I open it? Oh my goodness, is it really a mini lamp? My dream came true. Hmm. This has been the best toy day ever, thanks to you. Go spread your tear around the whole world. I'm all good. Okay, so Burfina's happy. I'm happy. She's wearing the flag with pride, and we have two left, so yeah, I just really have to guess on this. I could save beforehand. I want to be able to show you guys the jingle picture. So I might actually do a little save and continue here, and then we'll check out Inkwell's house, and I'll take a shot in the dark. You know, I'm kind of guessing here that Brofina, you know, I, this is kind of a, you know, a cheap way to do this, but usually I'm not going to reset unless I really want to see Rossetti. But yeah, Brofina, or uh, Coco, I kind of picture her having the plush carpet, although with her bonfires, that would not go so well. And Inkwell, because he's... More of a squid kid or an octopus kid. I kind of picture him wanting the kitty carpet, but this is, you know, kind of up in the air whether it's going to work out. I got really lucky getting Ribot the right one. So look, oh, where he, <laughs> he's hiding back there. He's got all these squid bumpers, and it's cool to see how he decorated with the spawn point and the tower control music, giving me anxiety. We also have the jittering super sea snail. And, of course, the splatter shot. I've got all this in the, in the exhibit if you want to see that. We will, uh, you know, we can show that again sometime here soon. Happy, wait, oh, happy toy day, Santa. Here's your present. I really hope this is what you want. A kitty carpet. You didn't tell me because you just moved in, so 
You know? It's not my fault if you don't like it. Holy holiday hamster eggs! It's a present! I'm gonna open it! That's the catchphrase of the jocks. Oh, Kitty Carpenter! I didn't think I was gonna get what I wanted, but I did! Ah, we got lucky. I didn't need to save it all. You're the best, Nerta. You made Toy Day perfect. I hope you get all your work done tonight. We did it! All right. I had some, you know, it's a holiday miracle. <laughs> I had some really good luck there, getting the right presents to the right villagers, unless they were just, you know, pulling my leg, and they pretended they liked that stuff, but maybe they didn't. So where is Coco? If we need to, we can use the megaphone, but I think she's around here somewhere. She was watering the plants. There's Graham, barely a head above the flowers that he's wandering around in. Coco, where are you? I've been starting to use the megaphone more recently. I didn't really find the usefulness of that tool for that long. You know, back when I first got it, I was like, ah, it's kind of cool, but I didn't use it much. But having it handy when you've lost a villager can really help out because you can just shout their name into it. And maybe we'll try that. I don't know, can I put a piece of equipment on my, uh, my guy when I'm holding this, you know, Santa's, oh, uh-oh, oh, it just goes in your inventory. Okay, so I can kind of check it out. And we can look in, okay, cool. So it is its own little thing that we only have this time of year. Okay, let me try this out here. Here we go. Coco! Did it work? Oh, no reply. Maybe they aren't nearby. Coco! Yeah, she's over here. Haha! -ha. Yeah, there she is. Okay, I didn't really need that. But I love how that actually does work pretty well. It actually recognizes the, the name of the villager that you're trying to call. Okay, Coco, you're the last of my list. Come here. You deserve a gift like anyone else. Santa! Santa, I can't believe it. Present for you. <laughs> She's the creepiest villager, but I love her. Here you go. I hope you like this, unless someone was lying. Hooray, I wonder what it is. Should I shake it first or smell it? Oh, I'm just going to open it right now. Santa, you're amazing. Somehow you know exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Without you telling me, even. You're so kind, Santa. You remind me a little of my friend Adam. All right, now all we have to do is go talk to Jingle, and we've completed our task. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna have a quick episode here, because I've got to spend time with my family, not my virtual family of villagers, but I appreciate you guys spending some of your time with me during the busy holiday season. Where is Jingle? He's on the lam. He's not behind the police station anymore. I wonder if he moves around. If we uh, we go into a house or, or try other things, you know, go into other areas, he might shift around where he's hiding. Jeez. Jingle, where are you, man? He's already gone. He's like, you deserve the cre credit, young man. <laughs> I'm the king of Jingle. Oh my gosh. That's the closest I've ever seen to a uh, a snowball going right over the... And there it goes. Yeah, I gotta have it respawn or I can't push it. We can go into a house and get that to pop up again. But yeah, that was <laughs> really close to the edge. I wasn't expecting it to be. I wonder if Jingle pushed it over like a jerk. Hiya, kid. So how's the task going? I'm done. Aha. Let's see. Yup, yup. You've indeed delivered everything perfectly, kid. With a lot of luck. Also, I can feel Gustin is just brimming with happiness at this exact moment. Oh, joy. I bet this is all because you went out and made sure everyone's holiday wishes came true. Hooray! Now it's finally your turn to receive a present. That's a nice change after helping so much. Since you did such a holly jolly job, I'll give you a special little present. It's a festive wreath. Oh, there we go. All right, so that's what I, I think you get regardless for the most part. Thanks to you, I'm sure tonight was a very wonderful and jingly night for everyone in town, yeah. Hmm, seeing smiles on every face in town makes me the happiest little reindeer in the world. Well, my work still isn't over, so I've got to go. See you, and ho, ho, ho. All right, Jingle. Meet me at the campground someday. Oh, right, since you're here, can I ask you a favor, kid? When you talk to me, would you mind standing on my left? Oh, there's no particular reason for the request. I look the best from that angle. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, he is kind of like asymmetrical with that bag, so I wonder if they wanted him to turn that way. <laughs> Hi there. Great look. It seems like you're quite the festive little soul. So there we go. In past games, Jingle would creep around in the houses, which is funnier, but I like that we have a more active part in this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wolf Link is fishing for his dinner. We're going to check out his house in the future. Before we finish up, are you enjoying the bingo game? Your fate rests into snowman's eyes. Give them a spin. So I've almost completed a row here. I've got a couple bingos, or at least one, that is pretty close to being ready to go. Show me 18. Is the Christmas luck going to continue? No, 12. That still gives me one. I'm going to get a bunch of snowman prizes here eventually. There we go. 
punched a hole, and we're gonna finish up. Double ding! You're so close, you're one number away in two different ways. Do come again, or shall be waiting right here, weather permitting. He's already halfway to the grave. <laughs> one snowball in the grave. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Curly, get away from my house. You're not here for much longer because we've got another villager moving in after Inkwell. And I'll see you guys next time for more Animal Crossing New Leaf. Goodbye. <laughs> it is I, the Krampus. Cranston, get out of the shot. You've been admirable this year. I will judge who is impish and who is admirable. Let us find a villager. Oh, Curly. Curly, you have... I'm just going to sit on this rock. Curly, you are one of three jock villagers in the village. That is a big... No, 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 no. I judge you. The Krampus here, not the mayor, judges you. Impish, you will be punished with one... From the net. Okay, that's not too bad. I still like you. Goodbye. The Krampus sneaks into the night. Oh, a coin.